Okay, in this video, we're gonna assemble the Grove Pie case. So, I've already unpacked it, um, but for, for this, we're gonna have <clears throat> four different parts. We're gonna have a Raspberry Pi B+, you can also use a B or an A, or an A+, or a Raspberry Pi 2. We've got the Grove Pie. We've got two pieces of acrylic. One should have uh, the Dexter Industries logo on it, and that will be the top. We'll call that the top. It should have a number of two on it and we'll have the bottom, and that should have a number one on it. The bottom one will have some small holes. Uh, these four holes are where you're gonna put the Raspberry Pi Model B, uh, B Plus, or two. These two holes are where you would put the um, Raspberry Pi uh, Model B, or the older versions. You also have some hardware. You're gonna have four large posts, um, and the color may vary of all this hardware, depending on when you buy it and what we're selling, but should largely be the same. You'll have four large posts, four smaller posts. You'll have um, at least eight of these uh, larger screws and eight of the smaller screws. Essentially what we're going to do is first put the Raspberry Pi 2 on top of, in this case the 2 or the B plus on top of the bottom board. We're gonna use the smaller pieces for that. We're gonna put the Grove Pi on top of that. And then finally we're gonna put the uh, top piece of acrylic on top of that. So let's start. You First thing we're going to do is put these four supports in and you can do that by putting them in. Like I said, you may get a different, a different color, but the part should largely look the same. These are round. You may get some that are uh, the same length, but uh, maybe there are hex or something along those lines, but again, shouldn't be very, should not be very different um, from this in terms of functionality. So I've just put these four posts together onto the bottom, and that's them facing up. You can use this. I, I try to make it so that the one is actually uh, facing upwards, but if you were to flip it, that doesn't really matter for the pie and the pie too. What does matter? when we mount it, is that you get the direction correct. So, you can see that uh, when I lay it like this, the Raspberry Pi, the, um, the pieces that stick out, the two USB ports, and the Ethernet port are over uh, the etched one. Um, this is what wrong looks like, <laughs> uh, where the um, two ports, uh, three ports are hanging out way over the side of the acrylic. So I'm gonna turn it back to right, and then I'll put the three or four screws in place. So that's pretty easy and pretty fast. You can save time by only doing two if you want to. That's still pretty, um, pretty robust, but for the sake of doing this right, I'm going to do all four for you. those screw into place into those small posts that we just put in there. This is a very strong case once we get it fully assembled. So, Grove Pi, or the Raspberry Pi, is now attached to the bottom case. You can see that pretty well. I'm gonna attach the Grove Pi. Again, um, I'm gonna line up these pins with these pins. So you can see that. We got some of the extra pins from the larger header. I'm gonna go ahead and put the four long posts in. So the easiest way to do that is to drop a screw on the bottom and just turn the post into it because these are nice, long, easy to grip with your fingers posts, so no need for a screwdriver on those when you first install them.
great. All four corners are now connected and protected. Finally, I'm gonna put the piece on top. So this is top, it's got a label number two etched into it, and it's got the, most importantly, probably it's got the decks uh, etched into it. So one thing you'll notice is there are, uh, there's a um, uh, opening on the top right there. That's gonna go over ports D6 and D5 on the Grove Pi. So that's the only thing you need to really be wary of in terms of orientation. If you were to flip this, doesn't make much of a difference if you turn it upside down. If you were to rotate this, you'll now notice that those two ports are blocked. You can see that these two ports are blocked and you have this pointless hole up here. So correct orientation is like that. Hole over the ports, D5 and D6. And I'll use a slightly larger screwdriver because these are slightly larger screws. But just a regular old Phillips head, again, nothing too special. Put four of them in there. Boom! That's it. Grove Pi is now encased with the Raspberry Pi. You can go ahead and put in your SD card, add some power, and cover it in sensors, and should be good to go.